Scorpio, let's start with your reading. Today, we are going to look into the energies around you at the moment. And then we will take a look into the events coming up for you in the next few months. Let's start with your main energy. All right. Your first message today is expect powerful change. And what we see here is this beautiful new moon eclipse, which is telling us that a new beginning is coming towards you. Something that is about to end this time for good, making space for a new chapter that in fact is already in plain sight. But there is something standing in between you and this transformation that could, could potentially represent an obstacle. And we need to dig deeper in order to understand what that is. You know, cards always tell us about the energies around us, but then it's up to us to look into the right direction and take advantage of these energies in order to get where we want to be and walk away from who we don't want to be. This is potentially a very important opportunity for you, Scorpio. So let's see what this is and let's begin with your reading. All right, well, <laughs> oh my God, Scorpio. You know, for the other zodiac signs, I get all kinds of messages, often about lighter things and situations, but when it comes to you, the messages are always so deep, major messages, and it's because Scorpios are very deep themselves. And when it comes to your energies, we don't see anything superficial. These are always existential messages, things that are rooted deep down and that are hard to connect to, but you do that because you are aware of that level of existence and you don't put it aside. You want to know about it so that you can act on it when it's time to act. And that's why Scorpio readings are always my favorite. Now, the first thing that we see here is that you are at a checkpoint, judgment. Something that is making you reevaluate a situation, a connection, or even your life entirely. It could be as easy as just the beginning of the year in which you're starting to reassess the world around you and the people in it. Or you are just spending more time with yourself, allowing you to see things that you could have easily ignored before. But most of all, I think that this is determined by this tower energy right here. Something big that has happened around you or even inside of you, and it made you realize something very important. Someone here, in fact, is thinking, I am tired of being tired and not even knowing it. As if there were things in life that you just decided to not expect anymore. Something that you really wanted to see happening for you, but that it hasn't happened yet. And it's just creating this spiral of thoughts where you eventually decide to give up on it. Not because you don't want it anymore, but because you don't want to waste time waiting for it, which are definitely two different things. But you know, give up once, give up twice, and eventually all of these hopes pile up and they start having a weight 
of their own, a mind of their own. And so overall here, I see someone tired of having to give up, tired of having to say, oh, well, that's how it is. That's how it is for me. It's always been like that. And instead, someone who's ready to say, finally, finally, it's working this time. But that thought just feels like a mirage right now. Something you see in movies, you hear in songs, but that you don't really see in real life where the rest of us live. With justice, I just believe that you are aware of the fact that it's time for you to experience the other side of these energies and situations. To finally experience the bright side. And you need that in order to bring balance into your own vision for the future. And this is something that it's very important for you. Now, in the heart of the reading, Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles reversed. You know, it's easy to see that the main issue comes from unbalance. Whether it is because you're giving too much of yourself, whereas the other person, the other people are not nearly giving as much back to you. And in fact, we see here, especially considering the devil coming up here as well, devil and two of pentacles doing too much of something and bringing instability, but also believing something and with your blinders on being very fixed on a thought, on a vision, and not allowing things to, to change for you. Right here, I see someone who might have a tendency to be too optimistic or too pessimistic. I doubt that a Scorpio can be too optimistic, but you might not agree on the pessimistic either. As we said before in a previous reading, Scorpio don't see themselves as pessimistic. You see yourself as realistic. But even too much realism can be bad for you because sometimes life finds a way to surprise you, to do something that you were not expecting. And if you're just evaluating what's around you right now, thinking that nothing else is ever going to show up in your environment, then you are setting yourself up for failure. And that can become obviously an issue. I think that overall, the imbalance that we see here is a combination of multiple factors that are keeping you stuck, stuck into the same outcome over and over again. And right now, you just feel that you've had enough. You want something to be excited about. You want something to look forward to and something that also is going to be stable in your life, not just temporary like that seven of cups. I see right here that you want it to become part of your DNA, part of who you are, not just something or someone who comes and goes as they please. When it comes to people not giving back to you the same love and care that you give to them, well, in that case, it's definitely time to cut your losses, to reverse this devil energy and let them go. When people's situations around you are like this, you really have nothing to lose, you know, other than losing yourself in the situation. So it's best to let them go. You cannot be everything for everyone every time. If you want things to really work out for you, the first thing you do is prioritize yourself. Even if that makes you look like a cold hearted person, you know what? You don't need to explain yourself to anyone. Learn to walk away without giving an explanation. Because most times, there is no need for explaining why you do what you do. It's your life. You don't need to convince anyone of your beliefs, of your goals. And I see with the next cards that you do have a move in mind. Something you might have been postponing for fear of, it, of its outcome or for fear of how people would perceive you by you doing this. But so far, it looks pretty good to me. What we have here is the Seven of Wands, Six of Swords, the Star, the World. You know, right here we see immediately that move with that Six of Swords. Something you're thinking to do or something you're thinking even to say. Something you wanted to get off your chest for a long time, 
or something you have been wanting to do for a long time as well. You want to move on from the Five of Swords, which obviously comes right before the Six of Swords. People who take advantage of you and the connection that they have with you. Silly arguments, explaining yourself and wasting your life away. And finally, move towards a direction that, even if it's unknown at the moment, you know that could potentially be what you are really looking for. And this is when realistic and idealistic comes to play. Not because like attracts like, forcing you to always have to be this fiery, happy person with a smile on their face all the time, always seeing the positive. No, no, no. Being positive means that you are aware of how things usually work, but at the same time, you're open for something new to come in and surprise you. When you believe that, it's not just impacting your mind, as we see here with the Seven of Wands, it's impacting your actions, the four, therefore, the things you say, the things you do, and potentially this can impact your final outcome. Is that going to be the case for you now, Scorpio? We'll see. But listen, I do get overall the feeling that if you are really going to bring balance into your environment, into your mind and into your heart, something big is going to change for you. But it won't happen just by you sitting on the couch. Let's not forget what we were saying at first and what the Six of Swords is reminding you. This is the time to take action, to bring movement, because the energies look beautiful, but it's up to you adopting the right, the right mindset. With the star, the right mindset is just saying, you know what, I'm going to be fine. I am actually going to achieve what I want to achieve. I don't know when, I don't know how, I don't know with whom, but I know that I'm going to get there. And so, you know what? I'm going to be fine. This is kickstarting that powerful change that we were looking at at the beginning. And obviously, it looks very, very exciting. So let's start clarifying and let's see what would be the best move to make right now in order to truly and permanently change things in your life. What does the universe have in store for you in the next few months, Scorpio, and where this potential new cycle, new journey can take you to in the long-term future? Let's look into this. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, Scorpio, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week, I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal live reading. I send out emails every Monday morning to confirm. Make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading, Scorpio. The bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the incoming events is the beautiful Empress. And why is this card so fundamental? in order for you to start this new chapter and truly find what you were looking for once for all. This card is important because it's showing you once again that you have to be who you are without caring about how people are going to perceive you right now, especially. This means that something or someone will try to prevent for you to go through the Six of Swords, and we'll, we need to look into who this is and why they're doing this, but you have to insist, and you need to make sure that you go into this world by saying, you know what, this is who I am. Take me as I am or leave me. It's not going to change my journey. It's not going to change my trajectory. I know what I want, and I know that I'm going to get it. So if you wish to waste someone's time, don't do it with me because I'm busy. I'm busy loving myself. And so this looks absolutely beautiful. And it's clear, especially with the first message that we got, that this is kickstarting a brand new chapter for you. Expect powerful change. And, you know, the most powerful changes start always from within you. 
and then they propagate around you. And so let's see what you should do right now in order to kickstart this beautiful new journey that finally Scorpio is going to give you that alternative outcome that you were really hoping for. So let's start by clarifying the Six of Swords and the Seven of Wands as well. Oh my God, look at this. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and we have all these beautiful cups up here. Listen, this is actually something that it's going to surprise you because this person who is trying to prevent for you to move along and really find what you were looking for is someone who you're not expecting. Why? Because this person...